Hello there and welcome to Chemcracker. Today we're looking at acid-base equilibrium. We're going to be reviewing acid-base equilibrium by looking at 13 multiple choice questions that could come on your CAPE exam. Let's begin with question one. So question one um, asks you for the pH of 0 0.05 molar HCl. Now HCl is a strong acid which means that it will fully dissociate in aqueous solution according to a one to one mole ratio. So whatever the concentration of HCl is, the concentration of H plus will be the same. So that this is 0 0.05, then that means that the concentration of H plus will be also 0 0.05. Now we know that pH of a solution is negative log of the H plus concentration. So when we do that calculation by substituting 0 0.05 into H plus concentration here, we are going to get negative uh, 1.3, but this is negative here. So therefore, your answer is going to be 1.30. Now let's go to question 2. For question 2, it asks, what is the pH of 0 0.01 molar barium hydroxide solution? Now, what you have to do is to write out the equation for the dissociation of barium hydroxide. Now, you have to be careful here because each barium hydroxide formula unit gives two hydroxide ions. And what that means, therefore, is that whatever your concentration of barium hydroxide here at the start, your concentration of hydroxide ions would be twice that amount. So therefore, 0 0.02. Now, when you do the negative log of that, you have to be careful because what you'll be getting is pOH. Now, so when you minus log 0 0.002, you get the pOH as 1.70. And so if you want to get pH, pH plus pOH comes to 14. So pH will be 14 minus pOH, which is 14 minus 1.7 which is going to give you your answer of 12.30. And so if we scroll back up, our answer is D. Let's look at question three. It says a solution has a pH of 9.20. What would be the pOH? All right, so we know from before that pOH plus pH equals to 14. All right, so if we have a pH of 9.2, then we would need a pOH, pOH of 4.8 to get 14. So our answer is 4.8, which is D. All right, let's look at question four. Question four says, the stronger the acid, and it has some statements here, part, part A says, the stronger its conjugate base. Now, let's look at the equation for the dissociation of an acid. Say so HA will dissociate to give H plus and A minus. Now, if the acid is strong, that means that the tendency is to go to the right-hand side. Now, if you have a strong tendency to go to the right-hand side, it means that going to the left must be uh, a low tendency. That means that A, which is the conjugate base here, does not is not likely to gain H plus and form HA. So it must be a weak base. So your answer must be C, the weaker its conjugate base. Question five, what is the hydrogen ion concentration of 0 0.01 molar solution of ethanoic acid? And you're given Ka of for ethanoic acid as 1.8 times 10 to the minus five um, mole per dm cube. 
So you want to start this by writing the equation for dissociation and then writing the expression for Ka. All right, so what you want to do is to write that equation for dissociation. Ethanoic acid is a weak organic acid. Uh, it is monobasic. So you're going to have the ethanoid ion plus H+. Plus. Now from there, you can write the expression for the equilibrium constant Ka, which will be CH3COO minus times the concentration of H plus over the concentration of the acid. Right, so if we assume that CH3COO minus concentration is equal to H plus concentration and that the concentration of the acid is constant, all right, then we can write that Ka is equal to H plus concentration squared over the concentration of the acid. Now, if we make H plus the subject, then H plus will be equal to the square root of Ka times CH3COOH. So what we have to do is to just fit that in there, which is one, uh, is to fit the values in for Ka, 1.8, all right, times 10 to the minus 5, times the concentration, which was 0 0.01. And when you calculate it, you're going to get your answer as 4.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so your answer is D as in dog. Six asks, what is the pH of a 0.2 molar solution of ammonia? You're given that Kb for ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the 5 mole per dm cube. Well, let's look at it. So first we have to write the equation for the dissociation of ammonia in water. And we have to write the expression for Kb. And from there, we can find out the pOH and hence the pH. So first, we have to write the equation for the uh, ammonia dissolved in water. Now, I always tell my students, instead of writing out ammonia plus water, you regard ammonia in aqueous solution as ammonium hydroxide. That makes everything easier. So aqueous ammonia is the same thing as ammonium hydroxide. Right, so we can write Kb, the base dissociation constant, to be the concentration of NH4 plus times concentration of OH over concentration of NH4OH. Remember, this is the concentration of the aqueous ammonia. And then if we assume that NH4 plus concentration is equal to OH minus concentration, then a one-to-one -one ratio, then we can write that that becomes OH minus squared over the concentration of ammonia. Right, so if we make OH minus concentration the subject, then uh, that would be equal to the square root of Kb times the concentration of the ammonia. So we can fill in the values. This is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, all right, times 0.2. All right, so when you fill in the values, then OH minus concentration comes to 0 0.0019. So pOH is negative log OH concentration. So if we minus log 0 0.0019, we're going to get 2.72. All right, so if pOH is 2.72, then pH would be 14 minus that. All right. 14 minus, minus 
11.72 and then of course that's going to give you 11.28 scroll back up and b is your answer okay let's look at question seven question seven says a cup of tea has a hydroxide concentration of one times ten to the minus eleven mole per dm cube what is the ph of this solution okay so since we have the hydroxide ion concentration we can find the poh so we're going to start by doing that so poh we know is the negative log of the OH minus concentration okay and we are given that in this case that OH minus concentration is 1 times 10 to the minus 11 now you do what you do that on your calculator you should get 11 so POH is 11 so pH will be 14 minus the POH which is 11 so the pH will be 3 C is your answer question 8 now question 8 uh, deals with a type of titration question it says what is the concentration of an HCl solution if 50 cm cube is neutralized in a titration by 20 centimeter cube of 0.8 molar potassium hydroxide solution so what you have to do is to work out um, the equation for the reaction first and then you have to use that along with these values to work out your answer now there's a quick way to do uh, titration calculations I'm going to show you how so first you write the balanced equation and it's a straightforward equation one mole of HCl react with one mole of potassium hydroxide to form KCl salt and water right so a very simple way to work this out is to use a little formula that um, equates or um, gives the ratio of acid to base or base to acid you can put anyone on top as long as you're consistent so this is a moles of acid over moles of base right is equal to concentration of acid times volume of acid over concentration of base times volume of base all right now here's what we're going to do we're going to fit in these values now this side will come from the balance equation one mole of acid to one mole of base all right and if we fill that in the concentration of acid is what we are actually trying to find the volume of acid we're told was 50 centimeter cube so we're going to put that there and we have the concentration of the base as 0.8 and the volume as 20 all right so we're going to put this here so 0.8 times 20 all right and so if we make ca the subject you cross multiply there all right and leave ca up there and ca is going to be equal to 1 times 0.8 times 20 over 50 all right and you work that out and you're going to get 0 0.32 mole per dm cube and so our answer is b let's look at question 9 question 9 gives you the pka values for four acids as follows w 4.96 x 4.85 y 4.88 and z 4.91 and then it asks what is the correct order when these acids are arranged in order of increasing acid strength so then you have to know the relationship between acid strength and pka now pka right uh, is the negative log of ka now you should know that the higher the ka value the stronger the acid 
but when you negative log you actually the higher the number you actually get a smaller number when you do the negative log operation which is what p represents so it actually work out is that the higher the acid strength all right the lower the pKa similar to pH all right the lower the value for pKa okay so the one with the lowest pKa will be the strongest acid and that's actually is X and the one with the highest pKa which is W will be the weakest acid so it's going to be W then Z Y and X so your answer is C let's look at question 10 boric acid is used as an eye wash to treat eye infections uh, the pH of a 0 0.05 molar solution of boric acid is 5.28 what is the value of the boric acid ionization constant Ka now if we assume that uh, boric acid has formula HA A being the anion associated with the H plus ion and it dissociates like this to form H plus and A minus we can write Ka equal H plus concentration times A minus concentration over the concentration of the acid HA now assuming that H plus concentration is equal to A minus and that the concentration of HA stays relatively constant then we can rewrite Ka to be equal to H plus squared over HA all right that's substituting for a minus substituting h plus for a minus right now from there we can simply fill in the values given we're told that the ph is 5.28 so we can work out h plus and we are given the concentration of ha which is 0 0.05 so let's work out the concentration of h plus from the ph first so if we write the formula for pH, pH equal minus log H plus and we're given that the pH is 5.28 and that would be equal to minus log H plus concentration. Now if we switch the negative over to the left hand side so log H plus is minus 5.28 and then we inverse log both sides then we will get H plus concentration is inverse log minus 5.28 that's 10 to the minus 5.28 and that if you put that into your calculator make sure you know how your calculator works is 5.25 times 10 to the minus 6 and that's your hydrogen ion concentration so let's go back up now so that we have the hydrogen ion concentration we have HA so we can fit that into this fit those things into this equation to find the value of Ka so we have the H plus concentration and we were given the HA concentration so we can fit those values into the equation for Ka to calculate the value of Ka so if we fit that in Ka is going to be 5.25 times 10 to the minus 6 squared over 0 0.05 and that's going to give me 5.5 times 10 to the minus 10 and we go up there and our answer is B as in boy question 11 a solution that contains a weak base and its conjugate acid in roughly equal amounts in each for is or equal concentrations is question 11 a solution that contains a weak base and its conjugate acid in roughly equal concentrations is a mixture of weak base and its conjugate acid that's a buffer solution an alkaline buffer solution so for that could be for example um, ammonium hydroxide or aqueous ammonia and NH4Cl okay 
So the weak base would be the ammonia or the ammonium hydroxide you want to call it, and the conjugate acid would be the NH4+. Number 12. Which of the following can be mixed together in water to produce a buffer solution? A buffer is a mixture which contains a weak acid and its conjugate base, or a weak base and it con its conjugate acid. And so if we look at this here, that's a strong acid, that's a strong acid, that's a strong acid. Your answer is A. HClO, weak acid, and NaClO. Question 13. The pH of a weak acid depends on its A concentration only, B dissociation constant only, C concentration and strength, and D proticity and concentration. So if you think about a weak acid or any acid at all, all right, it's equilibrium there, H plus and A minus. Now, this is what gives you pH. pH is measuring H plus concentration. So, H plus concentration is going to depend on the tendency go to go to the right. Does this have a great tendency to break up producing ions? Is it has a tendency to dissociate? In other words, is it a strong acid or a weak acid? Or to what extent is it strong or weak? So that is expressed in terms of acid strength. It's expressed in terms of equilibrium constant, Ka. It's, expre it's expressed in terms of percentage dissociation. All of those things. All right. So a strong acid would fully dissociate, would have a very high Ka. All right. And so you can judge that's one aspect that increases the H plus concentration. But it also depends on the original concentration of the acid. Okay. So for example, if this is if this is a ten molar solution, and it is 50% dissociated, right? Then the, I would get 5 molar H plus over here. But you can see if I increase the percent dissociation to 70%, yes, I would get 7 molar, wouldn't I? But if I also increase the concentration, wouldn't I get a bigger volume for each of these? Suppose I made, suppose for instance, this was 20 molar and it's 50% dissociated. The 50% dissociation for 20 molar would give me 10 molar here. All right. So both the acid concentration and the strength affect the pH. So the answer is C. Thank you again for checking out ChemCracker. We hope that this video was indeed of great assistance to you. If you like the video and you like the content and you would like to see more content, turn on notifications and share the video with your friends who are going to be doing CAPE examinations this year or next year. This has been ChemCrackers. See you next time.